One of the most annoying things for me for a long time has been when I'm testing actions in a worksheet and when I put the sheet into a dashboard, I then have to redo those actions. Last week I learned that you really don't need to do that. So in this tip, I'm going to show you how to take worksheet actions and apply those to dashboard actions without having to set them again in the dashboard. So let's look at an example of both scenarios. In this case, I'm going to do a set action drill down. So I'm going to right click on my category field and create a set. And I'm going to call this my category set. And initially, I'm just going to pick something for testing purposes. All right. So now what I want to do is I just want to create a drill down. Let me just put it by sales for now. And what I want to do is I want to create a drill down from category to subcategory. So I'm going to call this my drill down. And uh, let me just call this sub uh, uh, category. And what I want to say is if it's in my category set, then give me the subcategories for that set. Else give me nothing or a blank. And OK. So now when I put that into the view, you can see how it now uh, gives me the subcategories because in my set, I've gone ahead and picked the furniture category. OK, so now the next thing I need to do actually is fix the sort here. So I want to make this a nested sort. And I want to sort it to descending by sales. There we go. OK, so let me just fit it to my entire view. So now when I set up a set action, I come up the worksheet actions. And I usually do this when I'm doing set and parameter actions because I want to test that it works. So I'm going to add an action that is my change set values. And I'm going to call this update category set. And uh, what I'll do is I, I want it to be on select. And the target set on update is my category set. And when it's done, I want to remove everything to make sure that my subcategory goes back to blank. Great. OK and OK again. So now when I click on furniture, it, it's already expanded. Click on it again, it, it uh, deselects. So office supplies does the same thing. So technology, it drills in, right? Great. OK, now let's say I want to put this on a dashboard. So I'm just going to make a little small little dashboard here and drop the sheet in. Now what you would expect is that I can, in the dashboard, I can click on furniture and it would split out the subcategories. But it doesn't, right? So I click on it here and it doesn't do anything. So if I then have to go back here and do a, a dashboard action that is set up the same way. Well, that's like incredibly annoying to me. So how can we get around that? So let's go ahead and delete this sheet. Now, <clears throat> all you need to do is you need to go up to Worksheet Actions. And when you're building your action, Instead of having this section here where it says sheet one in my source sheets, I want to change that to be everything in the data source. So Superstore 2019.1. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And now when I put this in a dashboard and I drag that sheet in, it automatically expands out my categories. So isn't this amazing? So all these years I've been asking Tableau to have worksheet actions carry over to dashboard actions. And I'd never gotten an answer. But this, this tip came to me from Rosario. Um, in my tip two weeks ago, she sent me a message and said, hey, you can do this. So I wanted to share this with you as well. So thank you, Rosario, for this tip. And I hope you all found it useful as well. Have a great day.